What is the main focus of the Sabbath? Shalom, how you guys doing? Welcome. Many seem to be confused about the purpose of the Sabbath. This is a big topic. They're, they're totally confused. Some argue that it's just for the Jewish people. Well, no, we don't need to do that. That's just for the Jewish people. But Hashem says it's really for everybody. And that's today's topic. Today's topic is the Sabbath. Who's it for? What, what, what is the main purpose? Well, some say it's the day that we should be worshiping God. We should give to God. Others say that, well, you know, it's about not doing stuff. It's about, it's about stopping what we normally do during the course of our week. Well, you know what I say, don't you? Let's talk Shabbat. That's right. Let's talk the Sabbath. The first thing that we need to understand is Genesis. That's right. We're going to go back to the beginning. Genesis tells us that it's the day that Hashem, that God rested after creating everything, after creating the, the, the earth, the, the moon, uh, the sun, the stars, uh, created everything, including us, to tend that everything. You know, he gets done with his work. He gets done with everything he had to do. And he says, I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to take a break. But I don't want you to take my word for it. Let's get right into some scripture. God blessed the seventh day and separated it as holy. Because on that day, God, Hashem, rested from all his work. He rested from all his work which he had created so that is important to us right and we'll continue so that itself could produce in other words Hashem says okay I'm gonna rest now I'm gonna rest so I'm gonna let my creation do its thing we can find that in Bereshit or Genesis 2 3 chapter 2 verse 3 God rested. So we know that God rested. We know that God gets done creating and we know that he rests. And we know that Hashem God declares the seventh day to be holy. And what does holy mean? Holy means for us set apart. What is it set apart for? Rest. Sabbath is about rest. Set apart is rest. Here. Six days you will work, but on the seventh day you are to rest, even in plowing time and harvest season, you are to rest. This can be found in Shemot or Exodus 34, 21. You, who is you? You is the blood-born nation Israel. You're to rest on the Sabbath. Sabbath is about rest. It doesn't say worship in the scriptures. It says rest. It says rest over and over. Rest, rest, rest. It says rest, right? Well, who is to rest? Is it just the blood-born nation Israel? We have to ask this. Is it just the Jewish or Hebrew of today? The Jewish of today, the Hebrew of yesteryear? What about the Christian? What about the Christian? Does this apply to the Christian? I say yes, because I base my thing on scripture, not man's doctrine. Well, let's go to the Ten Commandments. Let's go to the Ten Commandments. We adhere to nine of them as Christians, but there's one that we ignore, which is the Sabbath. So let's see what it says about the Sabbath in the Ten Commandments in scripture. Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. What does holy mean? Set apart from the ordinary, right? You're to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. You have six days each week for ordinary work. You'll notice the word ordinary in there. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord 
your God. Right? Just think about that for a second. Let that sink in. Sabbath day of rest. It is rest dedicated to the Lord. Right? On that day, no one in your household may do any work. Any work. You can't do any work. This includes, and here we go, this is the kicker. This is where it gets a little spicy. This is where the Christian gets included, only they don't realize they do. This includes you, which would be the native-born Israel, the blood-born Israelite, your sons, your daughters, your male and female servants, your livestock. That's important, and we'll get to that in a second. And any foreigners living among you. This is important. Any foreigners living among you? Who are the foreigners living among that blood-born nation Israel? It's us, the grafted in. Let's continue. For in six days the Lord made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything. So good. And everything in them. But on the seventh day, what did God do? He rested seventh day God rested we continue with our reading that is why the Lord blessed the seventh day this is pretty powerful this is why the Lord blesses the seventh day and he calls it a Sabbath day and it is set apart right right it's set apart as holy right we can find this again in, in Shemot or Exodus 20 verses 8 through 11. I suggest you go read that. I suggest you go read that. We're, we're grafted in. We're grafted in. So we're the foreigners living among Israel, the blood-born nation Israel. You know, it's not hard to understand. It's not a foreign concept. It's easy to grasp. We are living among the nation. We are thus to keep the Sabbath. We are to what? Rest. We can and should worship God every single day. Every single day. We can and should give praise to Hashem, God, every day. Right? Even on the Sabbath, we're, we're, we should be praising God. But we should also be resting in God on the Sabbath. Many of us will go or prefer to go to a Sabbath service. And that's okay. It's encouraged. It's great. Fellowship. Do so on the Sabbath. But the main topic of Sabbath has been and always will be rest. The animals need rest. The animals that, that work your fields need rest. You need rest. Hashem gives us this gift. Of rest more to come on this so keep it locked in and um, you know Shalom God bless good day and the Sabbath just rest